Hello, my name is Rulace. Welcome to Post Mortem. A puzzle adventure game where we play as a detective trying to solve a murder mystery. I think. <laughs> Let's get into it. staring at each other or are you going to invite me in all right that's pretty gruesome that's a ritual if i ever see one cutting off the head and putting them sitting their bodies up and putting the head on their lap that's a ritual all right so let's see a sultry woman came to our door in the night that is not invited that just spells bad news, right? You know, sometimes you just got to think with your bottom brain. You get what I'm saying? Oh, let's see. Uh, oh yes, forget me. No. Let's go with this one. It's just that I wasn't expecting anybody. If you don't mind my asking, what can I do for you? You need money? I need your investigative skills. Okay. I mean, I no longer do detective work. But do come in if you want to. Sorry. I didn't introduce myself. Blake. Sophia Blake. Mr. McPherson, I need you to investigate a case that is dear to my heart. Just name your price. Lady's got PSL. And the voice smooth as butter. Goodness, I can hear, I can listen to that the whole day. 
Let's see, I've not investigated them. Yep. I haven't investigated in a long time, miss. I really need your investigative skills. I will pay all your expenses. Let's see. Scold I this. don't investigate anymore, Miss Blake. But you mentioned something about an interesting sum. I don't have any orders at present. Maybe I could make some room for your case. You relieve me, Mr. McPherson. This case is strange. It's a crime. A double murder. Mm -hmm. It's us about the fear. Yeah? I don't want to seem overly interested. But why don't we settle my fees before we go any further? This case may take you several days. I'll give you 500 straight away and 500 per day of successful investigation. Okay, now let's ask about the details. Could you give me any more details about the case? At the moment, it all seems rather nebulous. You probably haven't heard about the Orfe case, Mr. McPherson. McPherson. The newspapers have kept it quiet. A couple of American tourists were brutally murdered. They were my sister and her husband. I want to know the circumstances surrounding their death. Okay. So her sister and her sister's husband. Let's see. These murders were committed in Paris. These murders were committed in Paris. Do you know whereabouts in Paris? A hotel in a chic part of Paris in the 8th district. The Hotel Orphée. They arrived there about a week ago. They were found dead in their hotel bedroom. Okay. Your sister and her husband, they were both American. What exactly were they doing in Paris? I was supposed to meet them in Paris. You know, Mr. McPherson, visiting Europe was my sister Ruby's childhood dream. With Mr. White, her wish came true. They were so very much in love. Y'all yeah, can see that in the intro. Oh, let's see. How did they die? Are you sure they were murdered? It may just have been a terrible accident. The Whites were found decapitated in their hotel room, Mr. McPherson. This us was this one. Are the police handling the case? If they are, yep. This are the police this. handling the case? If they are, it may well complicate things. Do you know the name of the inspector in charge of the investigation? The detective in charge of the investigation is named Le Brun. You know, the police are the same in every country, Mr. McPherson. Whether you're in New York or in Paris, you mustn't be in a hurry. Le Brun is no exception. The Brun. The Paris Le Brun. He might be a freak of nature playing basketball as well. Let's see. Let's ask about this one. I do not get it. I, never I don't get before. it. I've never worked for you before. Not here nor in New York. Yet you come to me and ask me to find your sister's murderer. Why me, Miss Blake? Your reputation, Mr. McPherson. I find your nickname Spooky to be charming. I have friends who know people at the Pinkerton Agency in New York. The suspicion surrounding you is totally unfounded, naturally. You are the man I need for this investigation. Discreet. Capable of seeing beyond appearances. Okay. To be honest, I'm not sure I should take the case. Firstly, because where there's a murder, there's a murderer. Inspector Lebrun is in a better position to arrest murderers than I am. Mr. McPherson, I have no faith in the police. The 8th District Police Station, Lebrun especially, is trying to hush up the affair. All they care about is keeping their reputation as a chic area. Yep. That makes sense. Hmm. But the thing is, right? 
when the case involves a hot lady, a hot woman, nothing good comes out of it. But then, I'm thinking with my bottom brain, let's do it. Your offer is very reasonable. I accept. I owe you a lot, Mr. McPherson. Much more than the money I'm paying you. Oh, I like the sound of that. Maybe dinner? Let's see. You'd like me to begin right away. I think I have all the information I need to begin. You're sure you haven't forgotten anything? The police didn't find any items of value in the room. Yet my sister and her husband traveled very comfortably. In luxury and with old family heirlooms. It was a passion they both shared. Oh my god, her, her voice. She can't convince me to do anything with that voice. Let's see, uh... It's risky. Yeah, who would travel with a family heirloom? Right? That's, that's really weird. It is risky traveling with large sums of money. Would be a shame if they've been killed for that reason. How valuable like, right? are these family Like, heirlooms? if it's a large sum of money, no I can understand. No value. My sister was very fond of it. Of no value whatsoever. Okay, no value. Right? If, it'll, if you're traveling with a large sum of money, makes sense. But who would travel with a family heirloom? I guess if it's like a necklace or like a ring or something like that. Okay, okay, I guess that makes sense. Uh, so, but this one has no value. Okay, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna come back up. It's gonna uh, become a key item in the future. Okay, I hope to have a right, let's do it. That's I hope to have results options. quickly. I'll be in touch with you when I've made some progress in my investigation. Goodbye, Miss Blake. I ask only one thing of you. Be discreet. The police must not suspect you were involved. Discreet? We can do that. If you'd like to meet me. Oh, I like where this is going. See you, Sophia. Miss Blake. Alright, this is the exploration portion. So what are we going to do here? What do we have here? So this is our studio, I presume. Check out. I'm a bit worried um, at first. You know, this is the same de developer um, as the game Siberia. Um, and s I tried to play Siberia. I got stuck a few times. The, that's not the main problem. Um, but when I got stuck, so sorry, not not when I got stuck. The game is pretty slow with the character needing uh, needing to walk everywhere. Also, this is where we sleep. Oh wow, this is a super non secure studio, if you ask me. But the, the Siberia is really slow and uh, I kind of couldn't continue. What do we have here? We have a spoon, a spoon. We have a fork here, some coins, and a document, I, I guess. What do we have this? Uh, we have a notebook, we have a map, Sophia Blake's calling card, sketchbook, and a wallet. Ah, uh, the 500 uh, F should mean France. Frank? Frank? That's the money that Sophia gave to us. Let's see. Okay. Oh, there's more. Are we gonna get? Okay. Are oh, this? This one looks a bit like Sophia Blank. Blake. Is this going to be important? I wonder. Uh, anything else here? Not that I can see. Let's check out the um, cupboard. We have here a camera. What year is this? This 
this is a camera. What year is this? Holy. But then our character must be uh, quite... Ooh, there's something right here. Can I take it? It looks like a lockpick. Hello? Or maybe it's not. Okay. Maybe it's not. About here. Is there anything here? No? Alright, let's go back. Don't think there's anything else here. I guess we should go out and look for clues. Let's see. Of the police station, we have the Orphe Hotel. So we have to be discreet, right? So let's just not just skip police station. Let's go straight to the hotel where the incident happened. These suitcases are heavy. And do not forget, young man, the elevator is still out of order. Oh, brother. I've never been to Paris, especially when it's this old. Um, <laughs> let's see. What's this? Hello, what number can I dial for you? Is that us? <laughs> oh, that's the phone. That's the phone. Okay, that's how we look at. Yeah? Okay, let's see. Yeah, nothing Forgive here. Me, miss. I seem to have misplaced the number. Thanks all the same. If you want to talk to someone, you will need their number. Glad to be of service, sir. Goodbye. Okay. I'm just gonna look around to see if there's anything we can interact with when we're in this wheel. We can go here to the bar, I guess. We can go out. Let's talk to this guy. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Hotel Orphe. My name is Isidore Petit. What can I do for you? Isidore Petit. With a name like that, right? I tell you, he's got to have a monster dog. That's how it always happens. The person with the name Maximus something, that's going to be Petit. All right, let's see what options we have. Good evening, my name is Gus McPherson, journalist. Okay, so this is um, undercover. We can pretend we are journalists. International Office of WAI. Huh. As an insurance uh, person? Definitely not this one, since we want to be discreet, right? So, which one makes sense? Insurance. Or journalist. Alright, this is what I'm thinking. Journalist is not gonna fly. Just firstly, the the police don't want this to be um to be to be how do you say this? They don't want to spread the news of a, a murder. So I'm presuming the hotel people also do not want this to spread, which will uh, cause a reputation to their hotel. But as an insurance, right? Insurance would be most likely more discreet, more private. It's between the victim and uh, the, the case. They're like uh, asking of uh, more details, and they kind of couldn't um, just send us away, you know. So let's go with the um, worldwide American insurance person. Are you the manager? My name's McPherson. Look at us. I'm from the International Office of WAI, Worldwide American Insurance. 
I'm investigating events that took place in your hotel several days ago. The murders. The insurance company. Perfect. The Whites left, shall we say, a rather substantial bill that really needs to be settled. That seems to you be a good choice. You are here about the bill. Okay, let's see. Alright. My employee is a rich American with no ties to the Whites. She wants to take a room with you by reason. Or settle the bill. We do have money. Is 500 a lot? Or is it really little actually? Huh. Ha. So this one, right? This one seems to be um, trying to invoke the the to Mr. Petit here that we have a client that wants to come in to rent a, a room from this hotel, but uh, the recent events make us sick, so I'm here to check if it's okay, if everything's all right, right? In that case, I'm, I'm throwing the ball at him. So now he has to convince us that everything is fine. Whereas this one is... We're trying to settle the bill. I feel like we should be going with this one though. Since if we're going with this one, it doesn't feel like he's going to give us any more details about the murder, right? Because you can just say, oh, we can reassure everything is fine or something like that. But for this one, we should be able to go further in. The bill? Yes, that's right. I've come to settle their hotel bill. This bill is rather high. You are responsible for settling it. Ooh. The total sum is exactly 2,500 francs. That's a lot. Okay. Ooh. Let's just kind of ignore the question and go with this one. I know there's been a murder, but I don't know any details. How did it happen? That evening, somebody did not do their job properly. But what can I do? I cannot be everywhere at once. I shall be doubly careful from now on. You should have been more careful every time. Okay, let's see. Were the whites Oops. always alone in their room? The Whites received no visitors during their stay here. They were adamant that they should not be disturbed, which is why I refused to give their number to a man who asked to see them the night before their murder. This man is suspicious. Have you told the police about him? Like every good citizen. Except that my memory is not what it was. I fear my description will be of no help in tracking this person. Hmm. With the description you've given me, I'll be able to draw myself. I'm something of a painter, too. You are looking for a description with which you are going to produce a sketch, is that it? Well, I cannot wait to see this. The man was French, Parisian, in fact. No spectacles, no. Small, dark, rather wide eyes beneath large, thick eyebrows. Wide mouth, thin lips, a boxer's nose, solid build, a strapping lad, typical working class type. Mm -hmm. If you want any more information, contact the police directly. I'm afraid that I can do no more for you. Hey, he totally for forgot about the bill. <laughs> let's just leave it at that, yeah? Oh, let's see. We should have a new sketch, right? The map of Paris, calling card, sketchbook. Let's see what do we have. Um, no. Is it this one? It should be a new sketch, right? I think we already seen this before. Okay, 
So now we have a description of a suspicious guy uh, who is trying to get their number the night before the murder. Okay. So let's see. Let's check out the bar. Maybe someone in the working in the bar saw something suspicious. Let's see. Anything we can interact with? Menu. Seems to be the same. We go over here. Hmm. Okay, let's talk to him. What can I get you, sir? Let's see. Let's give me a bottle of red. Give me a bottle of red. Now we have a bottle of red. <laughs> I... hmm. Sir? Okay. So I'm not gonna do this. This this is stupid. I think. Let's inquire about a couple of friends. I would like to inquire about a couple of friends. May I help you? What's the name? Hmm. Yep, let's do An this. An American couple who were staying at the Orfe. The Whites. They had a terrible accident. Now they're dead. I'm truly sorry, sir. It's an awful story. A tragic end. Do the police have a suspect? I told them what I knew. I definitely saw someone by the window all evening. That is my testimony. They can do what they like with it. Tell me any more? You know I would like to help you, but I think you had better deal directly with the police. A man named Lebrun is leading the inquiry. Lebrun. Lebrun in France. Thank Lebrun you. Lebrun in France. You're welcome. So we didn't really get much from him. We did get a bottle of red. Did we pay for it? Yeah, we did. Five francs. Five, five francs for a bottle of a... Uh, Red. That's cheap, right? I think. Okay, we can come here. For what reason? We can look outside. Uh, honestly, it doesn't seem anything much. Okay, let's go out. Okay. I see something. I see something. What is nothing here? What's this? Newspaper. Uh, newspaper. 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 Nope, not this one. My bad. This one. Let's see. Wait, can't we read it? I guess not. I want to check out this room. Or not? Can I go there? Whatever this means. Temporary men horse. Excuse. Derangements. Arrangements caused by incident. Yeah. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, my bad. Let's see. Anything here? Guess not. So we can go up from. We don't know the room uh, Mr. White is in. Oops. Let's try to uh, ask if there's a. 
possible. You again! Sir, I have nothing more to say to you. Why is he so mad at us? Did we piss him off? I don't think so. I'm Never sure the front desk clerk will not like to see me going upstairs alone. I must find a ruse or persuade him to come up with me. Okay. What if we give him a bottle of red? Do you want it? No? I guess not. Ooh. Newspaper? Is it a newspaper? Newspaper La Paris. Okay. Oh man. Maybe you can help me? With something? I don't know what. Take a bottle. No? Take the newspaper. No? Oof. Maybe if a sketchbook. Can we not give it to him? Okay, maybe not. Hmm. So I guess we. We can't go up yet. Let's let's go swing by the police station. Let's see what we can find. Are you quite sure, Mr. Beauvais, that you have not seen him? Yes, yes, I'm sure. Go on, Mrs. Elwa, go home. We will take care of this, I promise. Oh, thank you, Mr. Beauvais. You're so kind. The next time I'm at Cezanne, I'll bring you back a nice bottle of red wine. That's a promise. Hey, goodbye, then. Goodbye. Okay, bottle of red wine. Why is there a ah, skull? A little bottle of red. Come on. Next. No, it's it. But why is there a skull in the, in the cabinet that makes us suspicious? We can go out here. Ah, oh, look at this. We can already kind of get what this police station is all about. Trash can go here. The only place we can go is uh, here and here. Not so fast, buddy. If you are after the inspector, you have to see me first. Okay, sure. We got just what you want. Get calm. Right, let's talk to him. Can I help you? Okay, let's see. Not this one. I also don't think we should go with this. As we know, um, the police do not want this to spread out, the news to spread out. American government. This is a high risk, high reward thing, I believe. Um, I've been sent by the American government to investigate the murder that took place at the Hotel Orfei. Gus McPherson. The American Secret Service, but of course. <laughs> and I am the Queen of England. Come on, papers please. <laughs> See that stupid? Thing is, uh, back in America, we don't have any papers. It's a small country, you know. Everybody knows everybody else. No one does that to me. I want proof. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> You're not in charge here, are you? 
There must be someone handling investigations. Can I see him? The inspector does not see visitors. What is this? What? Okay, I never noticed that. Have we missed this? Forget it. Mm. It is baking in here, isn't it? You would not happen to have anything to drink, would you? Just one for the road? I, I guess the option... The paper thing at the side. I'm so confused. Alright, uh, sorry, my bad. Oh, stop moving. Alright, let's give him the bottle of bread. There you go. How can we give it to him? This is not how we give it to him. Yellow, yellow. Take it. Take it. Take it. Full of promises and empty handed, huh? I do happen to have a little something for you. An amazing bottle of red wine. You cannot say no to that, officer. Don't you feel a little thirsty? <laughs> take it, just take it. There you go. Hide it. There you go. Good boy. What did he give us? Police report on hotel of the murders. Huh. Let's see. Extract from the autopsy report. Man 62, Caucasian, aged between 25 and 28. Oh. Oh wow, Mr. White is quite young. I did not expect that. A distinctive features a sailor's tattoo. A sailor's tattoo, okay. 5'7. Caucasian age 23 25. They're both really young. Distinctive features hair recently dyed. Death was caused by decapitation in both cases. The death of the man preceded that of the woman. The broken bones in the neck suspect use of a fine but extremely sharp blade. There. The heads were removed with a single cut. Traces of a substance, substance an opium der derivative of unknown nature, was found in their respiratory respiratory tracts. So they were on drugs. Let's see. Witness statements. Isidro Petit. Hotel of his reception. The whites returned around 11 p.m. Was advised by neighbor, Mrs. Losio, Lo, Loso, Loso, that door 5 or 7 had been left open time around midnight. Um, um, so 5 or 7 should be where the, the whites are staying. Call police on discovery of the bodies. Claims not to have touched the crime scene. Okay. Mr. Lewis, the neighbor, we would like to ask about, talk to her. Two striking facts about that evening. Let's see. Recalls a man wanting to see the whites the night before their death. Okay, this one we know. The on-duty bellboy resigned that evening. What's this? Sis name? Gig name? I, I, I cannot read this. Oh, it's a, it's a H. His name, Tio Mallet. So, bellboy. Okay. Description of a suspect. No glasses, small dark eyes, large mouth, thin lips. Same thing. Boxer's nose. He told us. Uh, Mrs. Losio, Losio, neighbor, residing in room 506 of the hotel. She note that the lady claims to be a clairvoyant. Oh, God. The white returned around 11 p.m. They were still in high spirits. So after one hour, 
um, Mrs. Loso 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 found out the door is open. Okay, claims to have heard singing coming from room five or seven in the hour that followed. Okay. Uh, as she was about to take a dog for its midnight walk, she saw a man running down the stairs. All she can say is that he came from room 507. Okay, there seems to be a suspect. The murderer, noticing the door open, she contacted the reception. She also claims to have felt evil emanating from the room. Evil! Description of the suspect, square face, short straight hair, flat medium size. So this one kind of uh, gives more details uh, to the description of the, the receptionist. Square face. Sure. Okay. I have a feeling we need to go back to our studio to um, to complete the sketch. Oh, let's see. Report. Uh, this contain the discovery concerning the discovery of two bodies by police inspector. Eh. Lebron, Lebron, called by Mr. Isidro Petit, employee at the reception of the hotel or feed. The police went to room 507 of the said hotel. The two individuals already dead on the arrival of the police who were seated side by side in an upright position. The body is showing early signs of uh, rigor mortis. I think this is the sign of uh, the body after, after a, a living thing dies. They start to get hard, but still warm, were decap uh, decapitated. Their heads were resting in their hands. An ancient gold coin, okay, was found was found in each of their mouths. Or do I say it's a ritual? The victims, a man and a woman registered under the name Regis and Ruby White, had reserved their room more than a month before their arrival. So, um, more than a month before that means. Someone might have already like uh, get the information they're coming so they can get prepared within a month for the murder. They had only been staying four days. A search of the room did not reveal anything in particular other than perhaps the distinct lack of valuables. On the so that might uh, be uh, that might prove the murderer actually took away the valuables. On the ground, a fine purple powder was noted. Oops. No documents were found at the scene to confirm identification of the victims or to enable us to contact the next of kin. What? They don't even have identifications. Did the murderer take it? Sorry, did the murderer took it? Theft is therefore the recorded motive for this crime. Mm hmm, okay. Due to the violent and unusual nature of the crime, the Associated Police Pathologist Dr. Frank Kofner of the Sepatry Hospital was asked to draw up a psychological profile of the killer. With that kind of killing, right? Uh, you won't go to the um, you won't go go to the conclusion of uh, theft is the motive so the police is definitely trying to cover this up the ancient gold coin and the purple powder were sent to forensic forensics for analysts the report is signed uh, Arstai Lebron okay I guess that's all the all the information we're gonna get from that report so uh, I'm gonna stop here I'm not sure where well, I think we're gonna go back um, to our studio to get the sketch done I think that's where we're gonna get the sketch done uh, on the next episode so for now thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one peace